Welcome to Weld.com. I had a customer get a hold of me saying they were going to test and they were having a lot of trouble on running an open route on plate, bevel plate, pipe. I mean, we've, you know, it's all pretty much the same procedure, but I think by communicating with this person that I figured out what the problem was, and I think it was travel speed and arc length. He said he was blowing it up on the back side, which is fairly normal. If you, if you, uh, I'm gonna say lollygag around and stay in one spot too long, a lot of times you'll heat this top edge of this bevel up and it'll blow up. You don't get that good profile on the backside. Also, I've had multiple comments about using runoff tabs, which I rarely do, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this out as well. I, I fit this up with a 332nd root opening uh, a little job, one sixteenth root face, running off a of Esob Renegade at seventy five amps, E sixty ten. Got the crisp setting on here, about fifty percent. I'm gonna start out here. You know, this is just dead ninety degrees in two directions in here. My rod angle is gonna be probably twenty degrees back this way. I am gonna be going right to left. Okay, got a camera set up over here, my left shoulder. I want him to get in back here. We've got a GoPro around here somewhere. Where'd it go? We were gonna shoot the backside. Um, <clears throat> I wanna watch this keyhole. So I'm gonna lean about 20 degrees this way and up probably five degrees or so. And I wanna watch this keyhole established around the rod and I wanna hold a real close arc. I, wanna, I want the keyhole to be around the end of the rod and I also wanna see this bead fill in straight across right behind the rod. Things happen. Uh, Art will jump to one side or the other or try to. You may see me adjust and, and do something. If my keyhole blows up and I'm not able to control it, then I will probably start stitching a little bit so I can make that freeze and I'll, I'll try to make it progress. Personally, I like to run them just, you know, get the right setting, the right fit, stick it, and just drag it in there and let it go because I like that good, smooth, consistent profile on the backside. I have this set up and I'm probably five degrees at best so that it doesn't come back out and fall out in my lap. Let me get my sleeves on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put a hot pass in here. I, I ground this and I'm still showing just a little bit of light slag around the edges, but I've reduced that. I'm not gonna go crazy with the grinder. I'm gonna do it with the arc. I've turned the machine up to 95 amps, so we're gonna breathe a little fire here. I'm just gonna do a little stitch, pretty much the same rod angle. What I want is for this thing to lay in here flat. Again, this is just a hot pass to bring this out clear out the, any slag that may be entrapped along the toe of the weld.
below. Little bit of arc blow there at the end. I'm gonna go buff this little rascal out and uh, we'll come back and take a peek of it. So I went over here and I, I buffed this off, cleaned it off. The profile looks okay to me. I would, uh, I don't think I'd touch it with a grinder or anything. A lot of times you shouldn't, can't. Uh, again, want this flat profile in here. From here, we have options um, on this thickness of plate, got an option of running two, three thirty seconds, seventy eighteen fill passes, stack them in here, stringer beads. You could run one uh, with a little bit of a J technique, pause at the top, bring it down. You could leave it in there flat and go straight to cap. You could go eighth inch, uh, seventy eighteen, point your rod up just a little bit. Anything you can do to get that out just a little bit more. What I would not do at this point, go straight to cap simply because we've still got a, a, a nice fair amount of stuff up here at the top to fill. And I've seen a lot of people do this. They'll start running a cap and they'll run the first bead down here, maybe a little bit too low and they'll run the second bead. And now all of a sudden they've got this big old valley up here at the top and you got to fill that in. Ah, uh, come on, that's, that's, not, that's not getting in there, I don't believe. I've seen a lot of them fail a bend test too, so. Another thing I've noticed on some pictures on Facebook and Instagram is people submitting horizontal welds. <clears throat> and what's fascinating to me is, you know, hey, here's the groove right here. Why is your weld an inch and a half tall? I mean, they put, it looks like they've got five passes or seven passes in there. The weld's a great big old thing instead of just making a normal size weld and blending these beads together nice and tight and crisp. Just one of those things that I notice anyway. Uh, I, you know, I could be wrong, but gee whiz, it, you know, like on monster coupons and doing the 6G, you're running multiple passes. I, I try to make mine, uh, and again, that's just me, it's my personal thing, but you know, when you get in the, get in the field and you get to inspect and looking at work, the toe of my weld is right here about a 16th below this beveled edge. Same on the top. You know, just don't want any undercut. And, you, got, you know, you're, we want that good profile blended together. Anyway, that's just one of those things I notice from time to time. So, you know, root pass, practice this with uh, your amperage and your fit up. So you might go a little bit thicker in lands. You might go a little wider in gap and it run in there for you just fine. Um, you could go I don't know that I'd go less land, but you could go up in amperage, keep that tight arc in there, stick him in there and let him run. If you need to stitch it, keyhole it a little bit more, you can do that. Main thing is you want that fusion on the back side and you want that profile, okay? Uh, don't be surprised if I go ahead and fill this up off camera, cut it and prep it and do some bend tests for you real quick just to show that we got, we got root pass in here, okay? Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you. Right over here, you can see the 